Apple recently introduced the iPod Touch, bringing the revolutionary multi-touch user interface of the iPhone to iPod iPod Touch is the first iPod to feature Wi-Fi wireless networking for surfing the web, watching your favorite videos on YouTube, as well as browsing, previewing, and buying music from the iTunes Wi-Fi Music Store. Now there's even more to touch. The popular internet applications found on the iPhone, Maps, Mail, Stocks, Weather, and Notes, are now built in with every new iPod Touch, along with some great new features. Maps is one of the most helpful applications on iPhone, and it's now available on iPod Touch. Now you can look up your current location automatically using information from nearby Wi-Fi base stations. The Maps interface is easy to use. In the lower left is the Location button. This button curls back the Maps page, giving you access to the other great Maps features, such as drop pin, real-time traffic conditions, and other map views. Tap the location button, and in seconds, iPod Touch determines your approximate location using Wi-Fi access points and displays a circle with your location in the center. The better the accuracy of the location information, the smaller the area inside the circle. With this new feature, it's even easier to get directions to local points of interest or addresses. Perhaps you need directions to the airport. Tap Directions. Notice that your current location is preloaded in the start field. Now type the airport code as your endpoint. Then tap Route to get your directions. Another feature to Maps is Drop Pin. You can use a dropped pin to fine-tune your exact location, maybe to where your car is parked a few blocks away. Tap here to reveal the other Maps features, then tap Drop Pin. A new pin appears marking your location at the center of the map. You can save a drop pin as a start or endpoint for directions. To fine-tune a drop pin's location, just tap and hold the pin, then drag it to the new location. Viewing search results or directions is easy with Maps on iPod Touch. Maps displays all your search results in Map, Satellite, Hybrid, or List views, and you can change between views with a simple tap. To see the Satellite view, tap Satellite. Now try Hybrid view. This is a combination Map and Satellite view where you can see major street names on top of satellite images. Just like iPhone, Mail supports the most popular email systems, including Yahoo Mail, Google's Gmail, AOL, and Dot .Mac Mail, or most any industry standard IMAP or Pop Mail system. Images and photos display in line with the text of your email. iPod Touch also supports attachments, such as PDF, JPEG, Microsoft Word and Excel files for easy viewing on the go. To launch email, tap Mail. This is your inbox. A blue dot lets you know which emails have not been read. This email has two image attachments, which you can see right in line with the email message. Tap here to go back to your inbox. Let's look at another email message. This email has a PDF and a Microsoft Word document attached. To view the attachments, simply tap on them. With iPod Touch, you can now customize the icons on your home screen. You can arrange the icons however you like, change the icons on the dock, and even have multiple home screen pages. In fact, you can now have up to nine home screen pages. That's enough space for web clips, web apps, and any new applications made for iPod Touch. The Stocks application uses your Wi-Fi connection to show a list of company stock quotes and a graph of their share price over time. Tapping here toggles this information between the percent gain or loss and the absolute gain or loss. To see a graph of a company's share price over a different time period, tap any one of the interval buttons, such as one day or one year. To check the weather forecast in a city, start by tapping on weather. You can flick through different cities by dragging your finger left or right. To add a new city to weather, tap the information button, then tap plus. Type the name of the city, then tap search, then tap done.
Notice that daytime is indicated with a blue background and night with a gray background. Notes is a great application for taking down important information on the go, such as to-do lists, shopping lists, and more. You can even email your notes to your contacts with one simple tap. Surfing the web on iPod Touch is now even easier. If you have websites that you regularly check, a favorite artist page, blog, or sports site, for example, why not create an icon on the home screen that will take you directly there? Let's say you like to check the New York Times every morning. Notice the new plus icon. Tapping the plus brings up a new menu where you can add a bookmark, add to home screen, or email someone a link to this website. If you tap add to home screen, you can name the icon, then add the new icon to your home screen. You can also create a web clip of a specific section or part of a website. Let's make a web clip from the iPod Touch website. You can zoom in by double tapping. Then tap the plus. Tap add to home screen. You can name the icon. Then tap add. With iPod Touch, you can now customize the icons on your home screen. You can arrange the icons however you like, change the icons on the dock, and even have multiple home screen pages. In fact, you can now have up to nine home screen pages. That's enough space for web clips, web apps, and any new applications made for iPod Touch. To customize your home screen, tap and hold any icon for a second or two until you see all the icons start to wiggle. You can then drag any icon to a new location. If you'd like a different icon in the dock, first move one away, then drag a new one in. The dock icons are displayed on every home screen page. To move an icon to a different home screen page, drag the icon to the edge of the screen and slide to the next page. If you want to delete a web clip, just tap the X in the upper left of the icon, then tap Delete to confirm. When you're done customizing your home screens, press the Home key to lock everything in place. If you have multiple pages, the total number of pages and the position of the currently displayed page will be shown here. To move between home screen pages, just flick left or right. iPod Touch is perfect for watching movies and TV shows wherever you go with its lightweight design and 3.5 inch widescreen display. Movie rentals have come to iTunes, and like other video content in your iTunes library, you can transfer and watch rented movies on your iPod Touch. When iPod Touch is connected to iTunes, rented movies show up in the new Rented Movies section. You simply select the movie rentals to sync, then click Apply. On iPod Touch, rentals show up here, so you can tell the difference between purchased and rented content. Movie rentals also have an expiration date and the time remaining on your rental will show up here. Another new feature to movies on iPod Touch is the ability to navigate by chapters. You can jump forward or backward through a movie using the chapter markers. iPod Touch has even more new features. If you have song lyrics, iPod Touch will now display them, and you can purchase music from the Wi-Fi Music Store using gift codes. For existing iPod Touch owners, these new applications and features are available in the January software upgrade from the iTunes Store for only $19.99. To buy iPod Touch, go to the Apple Online Store, or get a closer look at your nearest Apple Retail Store. Thank you.